All right. Now, as far as my storyboard is concerned, I've met all of the actions of my storyboard, which is my goal for today. I have them drinking, swallowing, starting to react, zooming in. Um, an action shows me, or his eyes closing shows me something's going to happen. His head pops off, a hand comes out, catches the, the head, starts to bring it back. But the difference with the GIF animation, it's not like a comic book um, where now you turn the page and it's a new scene. I need it to to transition back to the beginning. If I want it to be a smooth GIF animation, where it doesn't, it just is a loop that doesn't have a jump cut. You're not required to do that, but it can be very rewarding. And so I just want to actually nest that head back in and kind of take away those color effects, take away the swelling, so that he's it's back to my first frame. So let's see, I'm here, now I'm here. I've moved the body a little bit. The sun keeps sinking. Um, so what do I need? I think that's everything. See if the sun needs to go down more. No, I think I'm in a good spot. Oh no, maybe it does need to go down. Yep, it needs to go down to the last spot. Very good, before it just disappears entirely. All right, what else do I need? I can start to take the color away from the head and the body. And the genius thing is it was all done in effects. So I can just dim them, take their opacity down a little bit. And that will automatically start to default them back towards normal. And you can do that with a whole group as well, which is very helpful. So layer styles can be used very artistically, very intentionally to give you what you want. Okay, and the hand is slowly slipping away. This looks good. Grab this frame, hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible. You think I'm being really repetitive with the layer merge visible thing? If this was a walking cycle, I'd have to create a lot more frames that way. So that's a pretty big jump. But because I'm setting to reset, I think that will be okay. I can test it if I need to with the timeline, quickly output frames, make frames from layers, quickly set the timing. I have 22 frames so far, not that many for me. <coughs> yeah, that works. All right. Before I add more, I gotta get rid of these. And then I'll, I'll tweak and play animating within the frames um, once I have all the assets in. Okay. Delete that. Now I'm gonna settle it in. So I'm gonna make another duplicate of the hand. Push it all the way back. Just so it's those fingertips showing. Well, maybe a little bit more than that. Almost like they're stitches attaching the head. And then let's move the head back into place now. Still showing a little bit of that scene like that. And now I can open up the eyes. Just a little bit. And I can uh, Maybe have the mouth open a little bit more, or maybe just closed a little bit. Nah, let's, let's open it. Nah, let's close it. <laughs> All right. And then I can take a little bit, I'll maybe tilt it a tiny bit. 
shift it down. Good. Okay, let's take a little bit of that color away. Did I already do that? I think I did. Yeah, that's pretty low. And now the body. Okay, and now I can get rid of the sun entirely. And last texture fill, I can close this arm cycle. I'll just turn it off next time. Bring that frame over, see if that all makes sense. Hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible, Copy, Paste. <coughs> and that's how it resets. So I need one more transition, I think, to get from here to here. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. This is a little unorthodox. I'm gonna copy this first frame of my whole animation. Select all, copy it. Go back to my assets, deselect, delete this, and just um, paste that frame in, line it up just as a guide. This won't be used, but I'm going to set that at a really low opacity and lock it. There we go. About 38%. Lock it. So now I need to know, oh, maybe even lower. Let's see. But I want to know kind of where to put the head, where to put the eye, or what to move towards. So it's like the guide was zooming, but now with animation. Okay. Also, the sun needs to appear in the sky but it should start coming from the top. So let me start with the easy thing, the sun, and make a duplicate of it and move it up. So it's up here. All right, so I know where the sun's gonna be. The texture would be probably about that. The head, obviously need to tilt it. and move it down, but not all the way, so about there. Uh, the eye, let's go ahead and close the eye completely. The mouth, let's go ahead and close the mouth completely. <coughs> now the body, the head hole I can get rid of now, the hand I can get rid of now, And the body, that's going to be the trickiest thing. Make a duplicate. Turn off all the effects. And puppet warp it to try to get it back, or at least close to back. So you see I've moved the hand quite a bit. Definitely give myself some anchors there. Let's start tugging at some of these strings and getting it closer. These have to go down quite a bit. Let's see how that is. Yeah, that's that's it's getting there. Oh, but that needs to kind of come up too. Well, we'll see. We'll see. 
And now I can test it by just turning this one off and on. It's getting better. I'm going to puppet warp it, bring that back up a little bit. It's all about the body. Just want an in between. So this is, I call this setting to reset. Yeah, okay, that's that's going to work better. Because it also has to make sense with the, the frame before. Okay, so that's not terrible. <coughs> All right. So, let's uh, put in our final frame and then start messing with um, animating within the frames. So hold down Option, Layer, Merge visible, copy it, paste it in on top of everything. Nice. Okay. Save that. Now, before I output the animation, let me save my assets. So, delete these layers that aren't necessary and save it. Command S. So that's my assets all saved. So if I ever need to go back, fix something, I know where to go. I've got everything there. I was going to spend a little bit more time uh, showing him drinking, but I'll show you how I can do that now just within frames. So now I'm going to output make frames from layers. I have 24 frames total right now. That's 24 different layers I brought over. That's enough for one second of professional animation. <laughs> I'm going to set their timing for 0.3. That's my default. Um, go ahead and play it through. I don't think it's going to perfectly set to reset on its own yet. Actually, yeah, I didn't really notice it. Not too bad. Okay. <coughs> so now, what if I wanted a little bit more time with him just drinking in the beginning? So I'm going to save this. I'm going to take all these out. What I need to do from my assets, simply go back to my early setup, right? So, let's see. Just the regular head. <laughs> and I basically want to create maybe an eye closed version like that. And then the sun. I was going to create kind of, well, no. I could, I could create little in-betweens and I could spin longer, but that's being really fussy, really art directing. So now this is what I'm gonna do. To clean up little issues I had with the edges, I'm gonna use the crop tool, hold down shift and option, and just crop everything in a tiny bit, keeping it as a square, but just getting away from the very, let me zoom in, they have even more effect. Getting away from the very edges because that's where sometimes you can have alignment issues. Remember, this is all at full resolution. 